Good evening and welcome back. So a slightly different intro, we've signed Martinelli, an absolute star of a buy. He had a fairly low release fee compared to a lot of players around his sort of overall rating. And what I was looking at as well is he still got room to improve. I didn't want to buy someone because he's 23, which isn't old, but a lot of players when they start getting to that age on pairs, they can often start leveling out and even decreasing by the time they reach sort of 25, 26, but he's still got a bit of room to go. Left wing, so he's going to be vying with Mudrick for that left wing position, but he can also play up top as a centre forward does put Xerxes spot under threat now as well massively we've got a really good squad going now really impressed I'm looking at his stats his finishing is 86 his offensive awareness is the same he's got pretty good strength that's physical contact balance as well but look at that speed and acceleration just absolutely brilliant and he's already got quite a lot of skills as well straight away I'm going to improve acrobatic finishing for Martinelli so impressed with the signing he will add a lot of quality to our starting lineup and just to let you know we have signed a youngster from our youth team which is Mandanda who is a goalkeeper he is a regen he is 73 overall rated but some really good stats look at his reflexes 85 and he's also got a few skills low punt and long throw so he's a good to get the ball out quickly he's probably going to replace post as our second choice keeper we'll either send post out on loan if we can or we will sell him although we'll get basically no money for him he hasn't actually joined the squad yet he will be joining after the next match and as you can see bloody typical isn't it bringing in Martinelli and he's on and up which is good on a diagonal up lots of other players are also on ups you've got Xerxes on a flashing up you've got Ruben Castro on and up we're going to do something a bit different we're going to bring in Martinelli for Madrid which we're thinking of doing anyway I thought about putting Castro up top I thought I can't leave Xerxes out so I'm going to put Ruben Castro on the right uh, like I say he's a very versatile player he's best position he either is up front or on the left with him being right footed and cutting inside but I used to play him on the right sometimes as well so we're going to put them there got the likes of Fabio Vieira, Cousins and Herrera just staying in midfield back four and goalkeeper as normal but look at this we've got everyone apart from McDowell everyone's pretty much on level or up absolutely brilliant so many choices to bring off the bench now it's a shame the first game wasn't at home for Martinelli but this is the Copa del Rey we're playing Sevilla away so it's a massive match for him to be thrown in and um, I mean a win is a must not too bothered about performances for individual players, but it would be a dream story if he could uh, put in a good performance, like get on the score sheet or get an assist or something like that. Like I say, he's 23 years old. I don't normally buy out-and-out -out stars. I normally like to buy players who I improve. Um, he's 85 overall, so he's by far our best player. Still love Mudrick. He hasn't quite been doing it as much as he used to, but he's a, he's going to be a star player for a number of years, and he's still got room to improve as well. And he's younger than Martinelli, but so much squad depth now. We'll actually stay and have a look at uh, our lineup in the flesh there. They've got a really nice squad as well. They've got Dolberg on the bench, which I was surprised at. They've got Hector Bellerin on the bench there as well. But yeah, look at that. So strong. Martinelli, Cirque, who's been a star player for ourselves. Ruben Castro, Vieira, Emerson and Backer, the wing backs, they've improved us massively. But like I say, Xerxes places under threat. He knows he's got to perform. We'll have to see what squad number we're gonna give um Martinelli as well. I haven't even looked at that yet. Already nearly a nice ball through and Xerxes on it. Oh, and then he loses it. Just cut inside. And there wasn't much room to do that. Nice defending, but they somehow managed to win it back there. And we get the throw in. And yet... We're not going to be doing massive amounts of signings every transfer. No, you know, the odd one. And more likely we'll try and go for a star signing each window if we have the funds and there is someone that we want. We're not just going to buy for the sake of it. But also look at the, the youth side as well. You know, the players we're going to want to bring in to maybe then loan out. Here's Martinelli getting straight away. Oh, and he scored! 
Well, that was written in the script, wasn't it? But... Wow. So he's got number 20 at the moment um, on his back. Could this be a beautiful partnership between Baca and Martinelli on that left-hand side? What a finish, though, from a tight ankle. Now, this is what Mudrick did when he first started. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, when Mudrick first started, he was unbelievable. He was just scoring left, right and centre. And then it's it's tailed off a little bit recently as we have facing stronger sort of teams every week. Still a great player, though. But, um, yeah, already Martinelli on the score sheet. What a debut. I mean, whatever happens now, I mean, we'll have to win, though. That's the main thing, like I say. Assuming that we get through, whatever happens, he's uh, certainly had a, a debut to remember. He is Xerxy. Still such a threat, remember. MSN, nice play. Oh, punched out. Martinelli was in there. Ruben Castro, don't forget as well. And he's in here. Oh, well saved. I thought about passing, but there were so many players in the uh, in the box there. Passing probably still was the right option. Well defended. That was a pretty decent ball. And here's Vieira. Cousins. I'm missing now. God, there's not a lot of uh, room to work with. Nice ball from Martinelli. Ah, that's a good challenge from the defence, but get it back here. It's a bit of a pool ball from Xerxes there. Really poor. Easily taken by the goalkeeper. The defenders were there just in case. Oh, nice ball there. Cousins with a bit of space. Lovely ball to Xerxes. Oh, and he just slipped at the last second. What a ball that was through to Cousins. And then by Cousins to Xerxes. Wonderfully weighted. And maybe he should have taken a touch first. The pass was quite speedy, though. It was quite weighty. So if he did try and take a touch, it would have had to have been perfect. Otherwise, it could have been going straight into the keeper's arms. That's what I was thinking. Didn't have much time to react, but that's why I took the shot first time. Castro. That was XC. Oh, he's got to do better there, holding that up. But yeah, I do get away with shoulder barges a lot more than I do. And here's Vieira. Castro. Oh, that's got to be a foul, isn't it? It was definitely a foul on Vieira. Oh, nice little flick by Emerson, because it wasn't the best of balls. See what I mean about shoulder barges. Here's Cousins. Fiera. Oh, just over. It's sat up. Let's have a quick look at this. Baka did well to keep the ball. Popped it up. I think the keeper had it covered, to be fair. And I was trying to place it. I did use finesse there rather than blasting it. Um because it was a difficult one to control. It's only 1-0, remember? And they've given that ball away there. That's a poor ball. Almost well defended in the end, just sort of blocking off the shot as much as I could. Putting the defender off. Try and play it out wide here. Nice ball to Emerson. 
goodness. He's got a back yet. Castro. That's got to be a foul. How is that not a foul? He got absolutely taken out there. And that would have been in a really decent position for ourselves for a free kick. I absolutely joke the referees on this game. And that would be fine if it was the same for the opposition, but it never is. They, they get the... Oh, what's up there? I'm too busy having a rant. Right, let's stop that. <laughs> Sorry, I do go on about that a lot, about the free kicks and things like that, but it's just annoying. I just want the, to be consistent for both teams, you know? Here's Castro. Oh, and he gets crowded out. I was between two minds, but Xerxes now. Castro. Oh, it deflects into the keeper's hands. And that should be half time as soon as he kicks this. Great start from Martinelli, but we haven't capitalised on quite a few chances. Yeah, two thirds of the possession, plenty of attacks, but not many shots actually hitting the target, a lot off target. And considering the players that we've got on form, in good condition, or excellent condition even, you know, should be doing better. That's a poor ball. Was never going to make the target. Get it back though. Did well. Here's Martinelli. Nice ball to Cousins. Now Castro. Xerxes. Good turn. Good save. I wish... For Xerxes' sake, I wish I had gone in. It's a really nice turn. Did really well. That wasn't easy. Giving away a corner. Oh, good save. And what happened there? Someone injured? I don't know what I'm there, but look at one of my players was uh, rolling on the floor. Good tackle from Cosinu. Oh, that's a poor ball. Got to do better, but we'll get it back. And here's Martinelli on the charge. Oh, and it deflects and the keeper saves it. I was trying to find Castro. Maybe should have went for goal, but I thought the angle was a bit wasn't great. Martinelli on oh, the keeper brings him down. It it's a penalty. We have not had a penalty in a long, long time. It looks like I thought it was the goalkeeper, but it uh maybe Gomez there. Either way he got taken down. Um I'm not sure I fully agree with it. Now let's have a look. Um, yep, yeah, let's go with the captain, Vieira. Right in the corner. Really good penalty. I thought about giving it to Castro, but Fabio Vieira is our best penalty taker. We don't need to see that again. And 2 nils. I think a lot more fairer. Oh, Zerxi offside there. Yeah, there I was trying to find a body but couldn't. Uh, oh, Castro could be in there. No, I thought he might be able to intercept it. Here's Cousins. Oh, that's a poor ball. Not nearly, nearly wins it anyway. Nearly caught the defender out. It's a bit of pinball going on here. A bit of aerial battle. Here's Castro, now Vieira. 
That was X Heat. Again, absolutely got taken out there and somehow don't get a free kick. Yeah, right. Now Castro again. Nice play. Castro. Oh, he's hit it wide with his left. And I don't think we're going to get a chance to make subs now. It's 70 minutes by the time the ball's gone out, so not really any point now. The latest I normally leave it is the 65 minute mark, and then after that, it's uh, it's sometimes not really worth making the subs. It is from a freshness point of view, but in terms of experience and, and things like that. Oh, really nice ball from Xerxes to Castro. But his legs maybe just a little bit tired there because should have done better. Here's Martinelli. Nice ball. Oh, Vieira. Don't want to let in a goal here. Good tackle. Oh, lovely ball for Martinelli to Xerxes. Should score there. Really should have scored. Oh, Xerxes, man. That was a beautiful ball for Martinelli. Showing his creative side. He's not just there for goals. Cousins. 3-0. Great work by Bakker on the left there. He's got another assist. Lovely calm finish from Cousins. Nice touch. Lifted it up. Slammed it in the corner. Perfectly placed. And you know, Backer's been looking really good the past few games. He's he's getting a lot more involved in the attacking side. Well dealt with there. Got a bit unlucky there. I don't know how it ended up going forward this way. And he has Castro. Again, not too many, too much energy left, and that's a tired pass. Vieira. Nice ball to Martinelli. Ah, oh, Zixi offside. Zixi. I mean, it's not offside, is it? It's pretty much level. Should give the benefit of the doubt to the attacker if it's level. But it shouldn't have been that close, really. Has that gone in? Well, that must have just gone over the line. I mean, that's a very good goal. I was just about to say, how unlucky was that? But yeah, that went about a foot over the line. Really good goal. I can't really complain about that. And although they may have, maybe haven't created anywhere near the amount of chances as we have, they've been a threat in attack. They've had a fair amount of possession in the final third. Zixi. Oh, Zixi. It's not been Zixi's day to day. That was a horrible finish. Nice run from him. And there it is, full time, 
we are through to the next stages of the Copa del Rey and the other story is Martinelli got his goal on his debut. Over 60% possession, plenty of shots and I think they were worthy of their goal. I think they played pretty well. Obviously we dominated. They did look threatening. They had a lot of possession like I say in the final third and often it didn't come to anything. But that was a really sweet strike from, I don't know who it was that scored for them but it was a brilliant goal. And look at that debut, man of the match, and a goal for Martinelli. I would certainly agree with that, but a very good performance all round. And that goes by the ratings. Very, very good. 7.5s for three players, uh, four players rather. That doesn't happen very often. Seven for Xerxes as well. Ruben Castro over 6.5. It wasn't his favourite position on that right, but he did a really good job. But yeah, Backer getting two assists. Cousins with a lovely goal. Vieira outstanding as always and putting away that penalty. But certainly the story of today and potentially this January, Martinelli getting man of the match and a goal. And it looks like in the next round we will be playing Espanyol who beat Barcelona. Barcelona have not been having the best of seasons. They're now out of the Copa del Rey. I believe they're only about 4th or 5th in the league. And that's it for today guys. The next match will be at home to Valencia. And as you can see, a then massive match at the Santiago Bernabeu against Real Madrid in the league. So yeah, hope you can join us for that one. I'll obviously update you if there are any incomings or outgoings. And you can just see on there that Mandanda has joined the squad. So he's going to be our second choice goalkeeper now. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all soon. Cheers.